right. Hey guys, it's Anna. Bienvenido otra vez en mi canal. If you're already here though, what's up? This is gonna be another one of my like videos that I don't edit. So if it's like awkward, that's just like me and mi vida. So here we go. So it's been a while since I did like a grocery haul. So I just wanted to show you guys like what I pick up. This is like one of my smaller grocery hauls and I have a hat on though because I literally just got back from going to get the groceries and also my hair is like super gross like no one wants to see it. So I'm saving you from it. Also I'm in this hoodie that I literally always have on. You guys are going to think that I literally don't have any other clothes and it's cool because I don't. But yeah it's super early. I got like two hours of sleep. So that's what I'm running off of. I'm probably gonna go back to sleep after this haul after I put the food away. But I ordered this stuff yesterday. I do this all the time. I'm on keto. So I swear if you are on a diet or just trying to eat healthier or become a healthier person and to do that, you're like changing the way you eat. Having like ordering your groceries and just going to pick it up or even having it delivered to your house is like the best thing for your diet, for your meal plan, I guess. Um, cause since I've been on keto, it's just like, if I were to go to the store, I would want to buy so much and it ends up saving me so much money too. Cause I like think about what I'm buying. I compare prices online. Um, and then I end up getting like, I keep it cause I got, I ordered from Walmart. I, I usually order from there just cause it's like, why not? And then I just go pick it up. But... A lot of times I will buy the cheaper version of stuff and if they don't have it, they substitute it for something that's probably like double the price, which actually happened to me today. So we will get into it, but I did want to say that ordering your food, if you're on a diet or changing the way you eat, changing your lifestyle, whatever, ordering your food really, really helps. It's like one of my biggest tips. I don't know. I would eat the whole store if I were to walk in there. But so this is like a smaller one of my hauls. Oh my God, my hair is like all tangled in the back but this is a small one of my hauls usually I spend like a hundred dollars I want to say per month ish on food today I literally spent forty dollars because I just didn't feel like spending that much and I'm kind of um fasting like slightly a little bit from the holidays because I just like I was gonna enjoy the holidays so if I wanted something to eat I was gonna eat it so um and now it's time to get back into ketosis <laughs> so um I didn't get that much because I didn't want to like eat too much. I want to get into ketosis like as fast as possible. So I am kind of fasting slightly. Um, but yeah, so let's get on into it. I will show you guys the substitutions. I think I literally only had three things substituted and two of them weren't like that serious. So Walmart bags. First things first. Wow, this is a lot of freaking onions. <laughs> I love onions, but like I hate buying onions. So I can't tell you the price of everything. Just know that I spent $40 for all of this stuff that I'm going to show. Um, cause I don't remember the individual prices and I'm using my phone to film so I can't look at the app. But so I got a ton of onions. Um, I am going to have to cut these up probably slowly cause obviously they're going to make me tear up. But let me try to turn on this other light and see if it helps actually over here. Sometimes it helps a little bit. Is it maybe helping a little bit? I feel like it is. <laughs> um, so yeah, a lot of these I am gonna cut up. I'm probably gonna cut up like all but one and then just use one and then put the rest in the freezer. So that's gonna have to happen. So those are just over there. I probably should put them like in a bit of a bowl so the cats don't mess with onions. Really? Okay. Also in this bag, I got some avocados. Weirdly, I don't think this is the correct thing of avocados, is it? Huh. Okay, well I thought I ordered a bag that's like four to six, and this only has three in here, but they're super large. These are actually good ones. I didn't like double check this. I only checked my lettuce, but I got a few avocados, which are not ripened yet. So, I feel like for now I should put it in the fridge, but I'll think it over. All right. Oh, I might have broke my eggs. Okay. So, first substitution, I obviously had to get my pork rinds. Since I am a chip eater and on keto, you can't eat chips, you know? So, pork rinds are like my best friend. I love pork rinds anyways because they're so good. Um, I think maybe I had just picked a flavor that they didn't have or something. Because I feel like there's like only one size of their 
pork rind bags, but this one is the barbecue. I don't know what I ordered, but I know both of mine got substituted, but it was like the same thing. And this is like my favorite brand of pork rinds is that max flavor so i just got two bags of pork rinds and like i said i think they were substituted just for flavor and then i picked up one thing of eggs so the cheap eggs i know it's not the best but let's see because i think i put this bag down kind of hard just now why but so i got 18 count i almost got two of these but like i said i didn't want to spend too much money so I think I was at first at like $70 and I took it down to $40 because I didn't feel like spending that much. So, we got some eggs. Alright. These, this is the other stuff that got substituted? Some stuff, yes. Alright. So then I have some recipes that I want to make. So I got just a little small thing of my cream cheese. I usually just get the Great Value brand because I feel like it tastes the same. But it's cheaper. I think it's like a whole dollar maybe cheaper than getting like the Philadelphia brand. Um, but I got strawberry flavor. And this is just the 8 ounce one. Because like I said I have some keto recipes that I want to make. So I got that. This is one of my substitutions. <laughs> now I did not order this much heavy whipping cream. Okay. And I put, use this in my coffee. My bulletproof coffees. Um, mainly for the fat right um total fat oh it doesn't really have that much but anyways i usually put this in my coffee i ordered the little small one i think i ordered the half size of this yeah i ordered a 16 fluid ounce but i guess they were out of them so they gave me this whole size which is double the size that i paid for i didn't pay for this huge thing i paid for the half size of this but also this is way too much heavy whipping cream for me so i did google it and apparently you can freeze heavy whipping cream so i'm probably gonna freeze half of this um, or maybe even like a little bit more because I feel like I go through this kind of slowly-ish. So I'm going to freeze at least half of this in like ice cubes and then move those ice cubes to a bag. And it'll last me longer and I won't have wasted it because I didn't pay for it anyway. So uh, we got that stuff. Almost done. I didn't really get that much. Um, I did have to double check this before I left. This one's okay. It's really small, but I just got a little thing of iceberg lettuce. I like to eat some of my recipes to make like kind of like a taco-ish, I guess. And then I use these as salads too with my keto recipes, but I mainly like to make basically like a taco, and this is a taco shell kind of thing, or like a sandwich. Iceberg lettuce. Why don't we put that in the drawer? then obviously I had to get a ton of cheese so first I just got some finely shredded sharp cheddar cheese I only like really sharp cheddar sharp okay so I got this bag of cheese and then I got two hunks of cheese luckily they had both sometimes they only have like parmesan but these are my favorite cheeses to get to like snack on and to like cook some recipes with but mainly as snacks i love these they're filling they taste so freaking good this brand is just like it i purchase it over and over and over again but so i don't even know how to pronounce this belgiojo 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 but i get one parmesan and one aged asiago and i can't say that word too loud because barbie will go crazy you like cheese? <laughs> okay, but no, you guys literally have food in your bowl, so please leave me alone right now. You have food and you've got water, so I don't know why you're at my feet. Okay, I got pepperoni. I always get just this pepperoni, the great value. I don't know, it works. But so I just get this huge bag of pepperonis. Again, I love eating these as snacks and sometimes I do put them in like little recipes like cheese snacks mainly um yeah and I feel like pepperoni lasts slightly longer like it says on here sell by June 2nd 2020 like what so like I feel like I'm not like rushing myself to like get through all this but I will eat this entire bag because I love pepperoni ah! <laughs> I 
and let's see. That was my foot on the floor. <laughs> All right, what is in here? Okay, here is another one of my substitutions. So I ordered teriyaki sauce. So see, I just ordered the great value ones because they're like a whole dollar cheaper basically. Uh, for like the same amount versus the like name brand teriyaki sauce. So I just got the great value. It's going to taste the freaking same. But I have some recipes that I want to make like Chinese-ish keto food. So this is usually good. But so since I got teriyaki sauce, I really don't have soy sauce. So I ordered soy sauce, but I ordered the great value soy sauce. But I received the actual brand name soy sauce. So they substituted substituted it. It, 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 it with this one because I guess they didn't have the other one so that was a come up uh, I don't know if I can like fit this in the right spot right now okay I can't get it like in the right spot right now is that it from that bag all right and then the last things that I got always have to pick up some more of my bone broth is a necessity in my house. I literally have to have backups on backups on backups on backups of bone broth because it's such a simple, quick, easy meal. Um, it's also a good replacement meal for me, especially on keto. And when I'm trying to get back into ketosis, if I do experience the keto flu, which I usually do, and like it's not like really, really bad, but it does hit me and I just feel uncomfortable. But this is supposed to help and it does help. It fills me up weirdly. And you can just make your own soup, basically. So I got one chicken and one beef bone broth. You want bone broth, not just like broth. Because um, I think it just has a little bit more nutrients in it, especially if you're on keto. It's got like a little bit of extra stuff like the, is it protein? I don't know, potassium. It's got extra stuff that helps you like combat some of the symptoms of the keto flu, which some people do experience, and I do. So... That is it for my keto mini haul. Um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said, I love the ordering food when I am on a diet, when I am trying to change my food, my lifestyle, my diet, what I eat. I love ordering food because it just makes it so much easier to stick. Oh, I'm like burping. It makes it so much easier to stick to your meal plan and you can end up saving money. And on top of that, you end up saving, could possibly end up saving even more money if they substitute your items for like more expensive or for like a larger quantity, which happens to me all the freaking time from Walmart. So, but you still pay that cheaper price. So I will include in the description box below also like my little referral code because I'm pretty sure it gets you guys $10 off of only like $30. It gets me like $10 off of like 50, I think, but yeah, I will include that if I can remember. Anna, please remember, put that referral code down in the description box. I tend to use that also, like if I can find them like online, I try to always use the $10 off code because that's $10 of free money for food, okay? Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, seeing kind of like what I like to eat on keto. Super boring, but <laughs> I'm losing weight. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Muchísimas gracias for watching este video. Subscribe if you have not yet and like the video if you enjoyed it and want to see some more foods and keeping up with me and my health and wellness. Muchísimas gracias otra vez and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.